Hey guys, it's your girl Mary. I am back. I know you probably were not wondering where I am, but I'm going to just go ahead and say that I'm alive and I'm here. So as you can see from the title of the video, it's going to be about BTS. And whether you're a BTS fan, whether you're neutral about them or you absolutely hate them, I really think that this video could be entertaining for you no matter what, because I'm going to tackle the story of how I became a BTS fan, going from someone who didn't care for BTS very much, who tried to avoid them as much as possible, to a full-time, like, just stan. I mean, I'm not gonna, like, call myself a full-time stan, honestly, because I don't even have a fan account. Okay, so here's a quick update. Don't judge me, but I recorded this video a while ago and back then I didn't have an account, but now I do and it's kind of like an editing account and so far I like how it looks. But the thing is like I don't have the time to edit right now, but you know, feel free to check it out. Also, like I'm very active on Twitter. Like, feel free to follow me. I follow back. Damn. And so, yeah. If you're bored if you just want to listen to someone talk if you're eating or whatever grab your snack and enjoy the story of how i became a bts fan grab my bts mug as y'all can see uh i think this was the grammy of last year um i think so yeah before we actually start the story of how I became a fan, I want to give you guys a little bit of the backstory of before I became a fan, you know, like what was my mindset on BTS, whether or not I liked them, so you can actually get the whole picture. So, I was the kind of person who was like, K-pop is kind of annoying, BTS is kind of annoying, why are they everywhere, they pop up like they're trending all the time, people are obsessed with them. I used to see people posting like normal videos of the members breathing or blinking or doing something completely normal and fans going crazy like oh my god like I'm devastated, I can't breathe, I'm dying. I should have understood that mentality because I know what it feels like to be a fangirl. When you're a fangirl of someone, when you're standing someone you, like everything they do is just amazing to you but i didn't really understand um what was going on through their minds and i was just like why are why is everyone suddenly obsessed with k-pop and especially bts like when did this public announcement happen that we have to be obsessed with k-pop like i was kind of like completely confused <laughs> and in denial and i i was sleeping on bts basically so and the thing is like i feel like with human nature we tend to resist the new thing the foreign thing the stranger and we tend to you know just try to keep our guards and say no as long as i as long as we can basically which is i mean i don't know what to tell you i was pretty narrow-minded about this bts thing like i was like nope uh around seven or eight months ago uh, when the music video for the song idol <laughs> Out. I remember because I remember when the video came out. I remember watching it um, One of my friends on Instagram um, Her name is Theo shout out to her. She's an amazing editor um, She basically said that she has become a BTS fan and she's going to start posting BTS edits and As much as I love her and I was following her personal with my personal account and all of that stuff but I was kind of like annoyed and I was like you know am I gonna continue following her because She's into BTS now, and I don't care about BTS. So I was like, you know, I love you, but I'm gonna kind of like unfollow you. Um, and she was like, yeah, totally. Like, I understand. It's fine. I was such a beach back then. You're gonna a beach, 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 beach. Um. Anyways, but fun fact, we have since reconnected. So happy ending there i just wanted not to i just wanted to say that i don't like them for some reason i don't know what it was and funny thing is like it's, it wasn't even about just the language barrier because growing up of course i grew up with english songs and movies duh and english is not even my first language so like and we were obsessed with bollywood movies growing up so again i used to watch bollywood films i used to listen to indian songs not understanding a word and it was totally fine with me so 
I really don't know what I was thinking, but I, I still had that guard and it needed to be broken. How did that happen? So the next part of the story, it's going to get a little bit interesting around, I want to say January, February, March. Yeah, I think February, my best friend in the whole world, uh, Veronica, shout out to you. And by the way, follow her editing account. She is hilarious and super creative. Anyways, she texted me. She was like, yeah, me and my friend, we were watching stuff on YouTube. And then this Korean band comes up and we watch it. And I was like, <laughs> I remember I can post my message so that you can see my reaction. But I was like, don't tell me you like BTS because I may have to block you. <laughs> I was joking, but was I though? So yeah, she's like, but girl, like they're so cool. I love them. Like you have to give them a chance, but she didn't force it because you know how when you want someone to like something so bad that you force it and it actually makes them hate it even more. So she was really careful with that. You know, so she didn't force it. She just let me have my moment. And she was like, I'm just, I'm just telling you, I'm just giving you this information just in case. And I remember I was confused. I was like, no, like this can't happen to her. Like <laughs> acting like BTS and liking BTS is some kind of a disease. Oh my God, no, you can't like BTS. After that, I think a couple of weeks passed. I don't exactly know the dates, but I was going, like I was just on YouTube watching videos and stuff, whatever. And then I see this, you know, thumbnail of a video, which was a BTS video. And it was, um, DNA music video. So you know how on YouTube when you're watching but like just scrolling it shows the first few couple of seconds of You know kind of like a preview of what you're going to be watching in that video. So there's no audio It's just like moving images of the first couple of seconds, right? So I'm watching and for a second I'm just like seeing these weird visuals with the camera like moving from here to here and here to here. I don't know if you've seen it, but I'll put it on the screen. It's Jungkook basically just staring at the camera and the camera keeps moving. It's kind of floating. And I remember I was watching it and I was kind of mesmerized and hypnotized. I was like, what is happening? You know, what is this? You know? So I just tap on it and sis, I was so drawn to it. I just lived for the whole music video. I love the music. I love the lyrics. I, I thought it was so catchy. I love the choreography. I loved how they look. I just didn't expect to like it. I felt so attacked. I was like, why am I liking this? Like what's happening? You know, I was kind of shook in that moment but i was obsessed with that video and i kind of like i was feeling like oh my god i like bts now what's happening and then what happened next was just wow at the time i was working on self-love and themes around it i still am working on it by the way you know um, i was listening to podcasts i was reading books i was all about self-love and just randomly I find this speech that the group's leader, Kim Namjoon, gave at United Nation. And guess what the speech was about? Oh my God. It was about self-love. I think that's when I began to worry about what other people thought of me and starting seeing myself through their eyes. What excites you and makes your heart beat? Find your name and find your voice by speaking yourself. Like most people, I've made many and plenty mistakes in my life. I have many faults and I have many more fears, but I'm gonna embrace myself as hard as I can. And I'm starting to love myself gradually, just little by little. I have never seen an artist, a band, whatever, have a whole campaign about loving yourself. Like, it, it was like he was speaking to me, literally. This sounds crazy, but I know that was meant to happen to me. I like don't want to start crying, but like, I feel like that was so meant to happen to me. Like I'm such a different person. 
and like I'm I had goosebumps when I watched it I cried I was sh I was completely just like shook that was kind of a defining moment for me because I, I it was just I connected you know it's it was like a connection you can't really explain why you like certain things but I just had a connection with them not only the fact that I actually like their songs which I never thought I would I always wondered do people really like their songs because you know they're in Korean can people really like sing along something that they don't understand or know and funny thing is like now I List, I've listened to their songs enough times that I can actually like sing along with some of the songs and I have no difficulty Their lyrics are so refreshing and they're so creative. They're complex. They're romantic. They're poetic and they rap They dance their choreographies are amazing <laughs> The visuals, the production value of their videos, I mean, wow. For one of their albums, they have like multiple short films which kind of intertwine with each other and there are like signs in each of them that can be connected and then there are songs for each of them and it's just crazy. The idea of each member in a band having their own solo songs was amazing, like incredible. The fact that they don't take their influence and their power lightly and they use it, they use their platform for, you know, important issues like self-love is so beyond incredible to me because back when I was a kid, there was nothing like that, of course. So there wasn't, you know, I'm not saying that you need that in life, but you it's kind of nice to have it to have your idol or someone that you Idolize or someone that you love telling you, you know, like love yourself Speak your truth express yourself go follow your dreams and what you love your passion what you're good at what you're naturally drawn to Go towards that follow that when I was a kid Basically all I heard was you know study hard work hard get good grades and if you don't you're trash first of all their energy is so contagious Second of all, the way that they're not afraid to show their imperfections, show their quirky sides, show their sometimes, you know, they're clowns, you know, they make mistakes, they do funny stuff. Uh, even just the way that they speak English. Mm, it's always so exciting to see our fans. It's broken English. They love us everything. They make mistakes. Not not. <laughs> not. <laughs> no. Their pronunciations are sometimes funny, but they're not afraid to do it. And that takes real bravery. They're hardworking, they're humble, they're sweet, they're relatable, you know? It's like, it's almost like they're your friends and you know them and you want them to be successful and you want them to be happy and they love you in return and they want to make you happy. They really care for their fans. I've never seen any other artist thank their fans that many times during one concert. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you a thousand times. They're so grateful. They know that they are where they are because of the fans. But I mean, obviously because of their hard work, because of their talent, um, because of their perseverance, because they never gave up. I thought they lip sync because when you watch them dance, how can someone sing while doing that? And then I checked these videos where, um, these videos are called MR Removed, in which you can actually hear the, the sound that is recorded by the mic, and they're singing live and they actually sound good. What? So they, they have beautiful voices. They can sing while dancing. They dance like crazy, like no one else. So it's like a whole package. You just forget about everything, all of your guards, all of your misconceptions, all of your judgments. It just 
all goes down goes out the window and you only find love in your heart and yeah i just got to that point where i was like so inspired by them they were making me happy they make me happy every single day and the fact that you know there's just so much new stuff coming out every day that's so fun it's so refreshing um, new pictures videos they go live every now and then and you can actually like interact with them see them you know they're they're touring they're doing all sorts of things it's so amazing to be a part of it if you dislike bts or if you always had some kind of a guard against them just give them a chance you know that's basically my message my slogan my campaign's name is give bts a chance because maybe you'll like it who knows so watch a couple of their videos listen to their songs maybe you'll like it maybe you don't even if you don't it's totally fine you have nothing to lose at least you would know you know it's they're not my cup of tea yeah with that being said thank you so much for watching see you guys next time and i love you